car. He's built this car completely himself with the help of his uncle. And uh, his sister. It's got, he put in GSR leather seats in it, console, um, steering wheel. This car was an automatic car. He five speed swapped it. Uh, he bought this car off my dad. Uh, he put this motor in it, and like I said, it was an auto. Him and my brother did the five-speed swap. He bought a bunch of parts for it. It's got an Edelbrock Victor intake. He's got a pretty stout head that's built. All right, you ready to put it up on the ramps? Pulled the bumper off. We're going. He's going to start on the intercooler piping and everything else on it today. And um, all that the front lip. And... Uh, He's going to switch a oil pan on it as well. We got to take the oil pan off the hatch back here. The, the hatch had the turbo set up on it, but we're going to take it off. My brother and him adjusted his valves the other night. All right. See how well he can drive a stick. Perfect. Good job. Well, yeah, back up a little bit, Bobby. This one kicked back. Okay, hold on. A little more. Uh, we might have to reset it. Um, that's fine. We can jack it up from there and move the ramp where it needs to be. What happened is this one spun and kicked back on you, so it's fine. I mean, they're both... They're both on them. This one's just a little further back. Actually. Like, not the best to be using hey dudes to do this with, but. Go grab a block and put it behind your tire or grab that rubber stop. Here. <laughs> we have these things, but you, we use blocks of wood instead. But uh, he's got a uh, he's got a built head. He's got precision thousand cc injectors. He's got a clutch. Um, it's got what you put a Hurst shifter in this one, didn't you? Huh? Oh, I thought you put the Hurst shifter in this one. What shifters in this car? Okay. Um. But yeah, it was an automatic car when we got it. He five-speed swapped it. The front end was all blue, but he wanted to put a 99-2000 front end on it. So he got a 99-2000 front end for it. Um, the head is back here. It's got a uh, Bishimoto 3.6 X cam in it. It's actually a web cam. And then it's got the head's up there, it's ported and it's got valve train and then that's his case for his transmission. It's got an LSD with carbon synchros. There's uh, his turbo manifold, his wastegate, some of his piping. Uh, there's the injectors. He's got a bunch of stuff for that car. He completely, there's his turbo. Um, it's training graveyard right now. putting a tranny on or the tranny we're putting a turbo setup on it just to drive to our car show it's only on like five pounds of boost we're going to just stay out of the boost for now um, he's wanting to build a good bottom end for it he took the uh, heater box and everything out of it this is pretty much just his, like his little toy car so um, this is the second set of wheels on it he's already lowered the car put coilovers and stuff on it uh, it is an EX, but what else have you done to this thing? Oh, it's got a throttle body on that intake. What else, bub? I can't hear you. You got a P28 for it too, don't you? No, you got the chip DCU, don't you? 
Okay. But we kind of just let him go at this car, um, let him learn on it, and he's literally done everything, pretty much everything with the help. I mean, we've helped him out, but he's done pretty much everything else. Uh, when we got the car, it had already had a timing belt put on it. Come to find out, it was what, three teeth off? Is that what it was? Two teeth. Two teeth? It was two teeth off. It was really doggy. So... Uh, we got to fix his knock sensor. Uh, is your VSS, your Speedo working now or no? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we just got to fix your knock sensor and then VTEC will work. Or get a DC. But the great thing is, is it was already an EX car, so. Um, did you put an SI cluster? Did you buy an SI cluster or you just got a manual cluster in it, don't you? Huh? I had a manual cluster in it. Oh, what's back in it now? Nothing. Oh, okay. What are you going to put in it? Manual one. We'll have to cut your tailpipe off, your rear section, because it's welded solid. Remember? Yeah. We should have a good metal bit for the saw saw. Uh, he did the valve cover. Him and his uncle did the valve cover. Oh, uh, he put solid mounts. Are these solid or just polyurethane? They're solid, aren't solid. they? Yeah. He put solid mounts in it. Aluminum radiator. Aluminum radiator in it. Oh, you put no two sensor up front. Yeah. In it now too. Well, I guess it don't matter now. You need to get your top timing belt cover on that thing or else you'll end up like your sister. I took it off. Yeah. His sister, I don't know, something cut her timing belt on her car and then like not even three miles down the road, it broke. We got really lucky on her car, though. It didn't bend the valves or anything. But this is his car. He just bought those wheels. He sold his other wheels, bought those wheels off of my brother, my other brother, his other uncle. They're on his four-door. He had, uh, they are a little bit. The other wheels had more of an offset, didn't they? A lot more of an offset. And then I think... This front fender came from Grandpa and Grandma's storage building, right? No, it came off the silver four-door we parted out. Oh, okay. This came off a silver four-door we parted out. Where did the headlights come from? Uh, Jordan's friend. Huh? Jordan's friend. They're okay. OEM. Oh, those are OEM Honda headlights? Yeah, cool. The bumper cover came off. Did that come Where, where did that bumper cover come from? Uh, Eastern's two-door. Huh? Kinsons oh, Kinsons two door that caught fire. And then this fender is the one that came from the storage building, right? Where'd this fender come from? Oh, that's oh, it came off the hatch back there. And then the hood is actually my other daughter's hood off her four door, Janessa's. But that fender came off this hatch. I don't know what my religious plans are with this hatch, but it was turbo. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get to it. I'm working on the truck today. Easton's going to work on the hatch, try getting the motor somewhat done with the turbo swap or the sedan. I mean, so, all right, we'll check back in here shortly. All right, so Easton's made some progress. He's got the intake tube off. He's already got the header that was on it off. He's got the ram horn on it. He's got the, fit, the uh, turbo on it. Got the oil feed line. About ready to go on it. It'll go like that. Um, but yeah, he's getting there. He's taking, he's draining oil out of the vit right now. And uh, he's going to switch oil pans from the hatch onto this car because the hatch's oil pan's already got a it's already got a return on it. This had a log manifold and stuff, but plus it's a metal pan instead of aluminum. So 
He's making some lead way. So here's the, some of the piping. This is the piping from that kit with that other intercooler off the silver hatch. It's kind of, it's not, it, it's seen better days. Like it's all just bent and mangled. And it's fine though. And then, um, so the turbo was rotated the other way on the other car, and Easton was wanting to use this downpipe, which dumps on the driver's side and then goes over, but it won't, it won't clear. So we're using this downpipe on it, I believe so. We're using that down pipe. Are you doing the up pipe? I'll the down pipe. Okay, because we have this up pipe too. This is the other turbo, this is the turbo kit off the hatch. That's a manifold log. And then that's the up pipe they had on it. That's the intercooler they had on it. Uh, my brother Jordan, he just picked up this intercooler for 20 bucks off this guy he knows. Um, it's like brand new, it still has a cap on it. But we'll probably end up putting this intercooler on his car. Um, uh, oh my goodness. Um, oh, there it is. But we're going to put this intercooler maybe on his car. I'll talk to Uncle Jordan, see if Jordan will let him use it just for the time being. I guess we're going to go ahead and cut out his front bumper cover, or he is. Um, this is his project. He's doing, he's going to be doing all the work. I'm just kind of helping him, so is his uncle, my brother. So, but anyway, we'll get back at you here after a bit. So Easton just checked. This is the oil pan gasket he has for his aluminum pan, which I thought the aluminum pans had that gasket. The metal pans take a flat gasket. This one's kind of ripped up, so we'll have to get one. Unless you can find, do we have a new one laying around here somewhere from Genesis Hatch? I don't think so, but anyway. So that's what I'm working on. I'm about done though. I'm tired, it's hot. Dying of thirst. We don't have no water. I forgot to get some water. I don't think we have any water out here, do we? Let's look and see here. Junk seat we need to throw away. Uh, negative, Ghost Rider. Uh, I don't know why Jordan's got that tape shut. But yeah, we don't have no water out here. Well, uh, what time is it? It's after five. I'll call and get you an oil pan gasket in the morning. And then uh, you can put an oil pan. Were those good jeans, Bub? Or take that as yes. That kid has no good jeans whatsoever. And school's right around the corner. Uh, I'll call tomorrow and get you an oil pan gasket in the morning. How did they do that? Did they just drill a hole in it and... <laughs> Yeah, looks like they did. Okay. But that's what we'll do. So, anyway, I'm going to jump off here, get back to work, get this. I'm going to make a mess with this bottom radiator hose, getting all the coolant out of this thing. I made a mess on the power steering lines. I hate doing them. I never not make a mess, I always make a little bit of mess. Not too big of a mess. But I got the power steering lines all undone. Um, I'm going to try leaving the radiator in it. I have another one if this one gets messed up. But I think I think I got enough room to get it out with leaving a fan on there. I'd say so. But I got the chain and everything on it. I was ready to yank on the thing. And then I seen that lower radiator hose. So anyway, hopefully... Uh, here shortly I'll get this thing out so it's the uh, next day at the shop you can tell the boys were here pretty late last night Jordan 
in Easton. Um, they had to, they got everything mocked up. We got the intercooler hung with zip ties. Of course, it's not how we're going to leave it. Um, I knew that they fired it up last night and they blew that pipe off of it. Um, looks like the oil feed is leaking a little bit. There's a good sized puddle back there, but yeah, they got the turbo on it. Easton uh, told me they even got the boost gauge hooked up. So, yeah, they got the oil valve. So proud of Easton. I know there's a lot of young people out there like him that do the exact same thing he does. But like, when I say he funds this himself, he really does. Everything he's done to this car, he's done pretty much by himself. And um, he's funded, he's paid for everything. He mows yards. He mows yards and he buys like lawnmowers and weed eaters and flips them or whatever as well. And he like does yard work for all of our neighbors. But um, pretty proud of the little dude, you know? I have to uh, give you a backstory. Um, as you guys don't know, I actually have full custody of all my kids. So it's, it's rough at times, but we manage it. And they know that, you know, if this is their passion, then they're going to put all their money into this. Um, like Gabby with her Civic. Um, she babysits. That's how she's paying us back for her Civic, because she's babysitting. Um, she didn't have the money to buy it. It was a really good deal. I can't believe I got the car for as cheap as I did with her car, but even this car, we got a really good deal on this car. Dad originally bought this car at that time dad dad bought this car just for the motor well he then realized that he can't tear it apart because it's in too good shape someone this was not our doing the quarter panels that was already done somebody already did that so that's that's not us um we plan on fixing it but easton isn't really worried about body work or anything right now as much as he is getting it running and driving and getting it the way he wants to um i know this winter he wants to delete if you notice this is an ex car it's got abs he's wanting to delete all the abs stuff off it and maybe even do like a brake line tuck on it he's got a bunch of plans for this car um and he's wanting to keep it to D series. He's not wanting to go B. I'm old school. I like B series. I've always had I've had a lot of B series cars. I've only had one K car, and that was my Integra. But um, yeah, he sent me a video of it running. It sounded pretty decent. Of course, you know you really can't get into the boost with it because um, it just where do they got that vacuum line to run to? What the heck they got going on here? I'm sorry, I get sidetracked really easy. I'm trying to figure out what the heck they got going on here. Okay, that line goes there, and this line goes where? Where does that line go? Oh, that's for his boost gauge, I bet you. Yep, I bet you that's going in the car. Yep, that's exactly where that is going going in his car for his boost gauge coming off the back of the bottom of the intake it's one good thing about this out rock there's tons of ports for it but they need to go through and clean up everything like if you look this vacuum line here needs to be shorter ran a little bit better tucked maybe underneath the hoses something like that come up through that hose obviously needs cut but they'll get it. Yeah. I don't think so. Don't need new boost controller. Because we're not turning up the boost on a stock D series bottom end with, I don't even know how many miles on this thing. But yeah, it's Easton's car. They made pretty good progress last night on it. 
They'll probably be back up here tonight. They work nights. I don't They like working the nights. I think Easton got home at like 3 o'clock this morning. So he's still in bed. But I know he's also wanting to do 99, 2000 taillights and trunk lid on the car too. He just hasn't found one yet. So. Alrighty guys. Well that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to get to work on the OBS. I got the motor in it. Uh, I didn't film anything because I seriously just shook the motor a few times. The old motor popped right out of the tranny. Pulled it out. I was able to leave the radiator in it. Um, dropped the new motor in it. The bell housing and block are all lined up. It's on the dial pins. It's touching. I got to put the bell housing bolts in it. The lower motor mount bolts are already in it. So it's actually coming together pretty good. I got to go get some stuff though. Of course, I broke the oil pressure sending unit. And yeah. But I'm going to see what all I can get done on it today. So thanks for watching. We're going to get some more videos of Easton working on his car. Um, get some other videos. I have to do like the shop tour. Most of these cars are ours. That's Dad's Ram Air. That car, don't see rain, don't see snow. It's a really nice car. Low mileage. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Easton's taking this car for the first drive. It's not completely roadworthy or anything. The downpipe's the wrong downpipe, but we're just going to take it down the road. He wants to drive it. We're going to stay out of the boost. It's a plan. Uh, it's untuned and everything else, so uh, I told my neighbor there's tow strap, so here we go. cluster in it that doesn't work and on top of that it don't have he doesn't know how much gas it has and it seems like it's running out of gas so there it is running driving on her own power